Croissant. Salam. Merhaba. Selamat datang. Willkommen. Swadika. Ni hao. Sudaboka. Kiora. Hallo. Namaskar. <laughs> Peak School offers the IB Primary Years program, which is based on an inquiry approach to learning. Our teaching and learning is transdisciplinary and the student's understanding is supported by the elements of the PYP. The well-being of our students and staff is of paramount importance and Peak School has established a strong culture of well-being throughout the school. All of our teachers are responsible for the personal and social education of the students and this is underpinned by our school philosophy of the three rules of respect. Respect for ourselves, respect for others and respect for the environment. We nurture this through our day-to-day -day interactions and of course our specific programmes of support, uh, the implementation of ELSAs throughout the school and our aim is to encourage children to feel comfortable, confident and happy at school. We live by and up to all the attributes of the learner profile to develop students who are effective communicators, confident critical thinkers, lifelong learners and socially responsible global citizens. Phoenix, you are the best kid in the whole entire world. Benton Phoenix. Is that from your bucket painting? Yes. You get to keep that too. I put it in my tummy. <laughs> I feel someone's racket. We recognize and embrace the diversity and human commonality in our community. It's embedded in all that we do and we actively seek out to make connections by our actions. Children are encouraged to contribute to classroom discussions on current events, present, and children and their families are invited to celebrate individual culture in a safe environment. We made a bracelet to show the story. For the first Thanksgiving, the Americans settled on, on a, a, a boat and the, the blue, blue white was the, the ocean the that ocean they sailed on. The green was a whole island filled with green. Brown golden was the turkey, turkey feast. The teachers, specialists and the PYP coordinator plan collaboratively on a weekly basis using the PYP planners. They ensure that children are engaged in the inquiry cycle and are making connections through wanderings, research, problem solving and reflection. The teachers make sure that their teaching and learning is contextual and relevant to the children's prior experiences enabling them to make authentic connections to deepen their knowledge and understanding of the world around them. As a pre-assessment, we could have them do what do you know about your family? That's yeah. personal. Yeah. Yes. Celebrations, um, cultures, religion. Okay, so that people have different roles in the community to which they belong. Mm -hmm. This follows with the ATL of uh, communication. So they are layering and fading some in there yes. so that it has that co whole continuity. Yes. Um, and building up the texture as well. Compass. Uh, 21st century councillors. Really. Comments around the room. Yes. Yes. Going to stand by the one and then justify why they've chosen it. The teachers ensure that the planning of the curriculum is differentiated either by process, product, content or environment. We hot water from there, put it in there to pour or the ocean, so we pretended that was the ocean. And then the little bowl in the middle is the country, and then for the red bit is the weight. The in, the 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 country. Country. in the country, the country of the bowl. Oh. Is there some of this? Yeah, it's been some rain. Yeah, it's been drizzling. <laughs> what could we do if we were going to do it again and we wanted to speed the process up? More weight, more ice cubes. Oh, more weight, more ice cubes. To that yellow line and back again. So no arms, just your legs. One of five is so bad. <laughs> Students have lots of opportunity and are empowered to pursue self-initiated inquiry, to be able to create, explore and develop their own passions and interests which are integrated within the unit of inquiry. <laughs>
students regularly reflect on how, what and why they're learning. This reflection is facilitated in a number of ways through teacher conferencing both informally and formally, through their three-way conferences with the parents, the student and the teacher, through peer and self-assessment and also through their personalised portfolio evidence. What's my learning is being happy, my brain being switched on and being healthy. I had to do a rubric to show what you did well and what you didn't and what you want to improve on. When you do another rubric, it might turn out better than the first time you did it because you see what you need to improve on. Some places probably needed more effects like the spraying bit. Useful because it shows it from our perspective. Yeah, and communicating is one of the main important things that we need to have in life. And social skills. Because if we have a job one day, then it will be most important to communicate. Mm -hmm. And you also need to read really as well. We have extensive resources for the students, providing them with maximum opportunities to extend and enhance their learning. We appreciate that children have different preferred learning styles and with this in mind we have created flexible learning spaces within the classroom and beyond the classroom, allowing children choice of environment for learning both independently and collaboratively. The importance of having a growth mindset is embedded throughout the school. The key for us is that we focused on three key areas, which are the power of yet, the notion that it's okay to make mistakes and to learn from them, and also to be able to identify your learning zone in different situations, whether it's the comfort zone, the stretch zone, or the stress zone, and make the necessary adjustments to ensure that progress and growth takes place. Did you know that when you actually make a mistake, your brain grows? When you make mistakes, you can learn from them, and it, you don't want to do them all, all the time but it is good to make some Parents are very much involved in their child's learning and are regularly invited into schools for consultations, workshops, presentations and open mornings. The use of mother tongue is very much valued and supported and we actively encourage the student to use their home language with parents at student-led conferences and to clarify understanding with peers or other adults. Student agency is certainly embraced. It's crucial to give children voice, choice and ownership of their learning. The children take meaningful action on an ongoing basis and in a wide variety of contexts. Uh, we're making copies for Remembrance Day to remember all the people who died in the war. They are encouraged to pursue issues they feel strongly about. This can be on an individual level, in a group, as a whole class or even school-wide. We actively involve community groups and tap into visiting experts as a springboard for learning to make the students' learning more meaningful and to deepen their understanding and consequently providing an additional framework for action. The boxes of hope are used for children who aren't as lucky as us to have toys and hygiene items. That is why it is important for all of us to join hands. I want to tell you that it's our collective responsibility to make sure that we are in the journey towards making the world a better place. At Peak School, we do live by our mission statement in our aim to become effective communicators, confident critical thinkers and enthusiastic lifelong learners. In partnership with our community we strive to have integrity and be socially responsible global citizens. Mm -hmm.